Hello, welcome to my channel. It's Sharon at Be Divine Vintage. I've been doing some crafting this morning, as you can see, ink stained hands. And I thought, well, let's just turn the camera on and bring you along with me. I'm working on this fairy journal at the moment. And um, I want to make like a clothes label, you know, on your clothes, you have the label that goes over the top you know maybe a pair of jeans or something so i thought well let's make one but for in the journal so i've started it um boring bits now i'm up to the exciting bits so i thought let's have a look together so i have literally this is from a file folder i measured it to the size of the page that i wanted um that's where the crease is in the file folder rounded the corners then i've literally just used mod podge and gone over the um put the newsprint etc you can see there newsprint book pages this is in spanish this from a spanish newspaper so yeah so then fold it in half so I've got my page there ready to use now. Um, as you can see, when you open it, all my writing is the same way. If you close it, this is the front, all the writing's the same way. This is the back and all the writing's the same way. So I'm going to, this is the front, but I'm going to show you how I did that here on the back. So just let me sit down and Let's get my stabilo. Let's bring a cleaner piece of paper over so we don't want inks on it. So I literally, because this has got Mod Podge on, it's stabilo works really nicely on it. It moves nicely. And there's also a little bit of white gesso. Let's check them and frame. Yes, I am. So I literally go around the edges with the stabilo. And if you get your water, you can either have water on a little sponge or just a little spray like that and just sort of blend it in. It's just different than using the usual sort of method that we might use with um, oh, the distress inks and things, you know, with the sponge. And so just go lightly around the corner if you along the edge. I mean, if you smudge your bit, it doesn't matter because when you wet it, you can sort of do what you want with it you can take it off if you wanted to so i'm just going all around the edge so for the decoration of this i was inspired by some work from there at lilac pages so i thought i'd have a go at something similar for myself because uh, i don't want not copying her work i want obviously I want it to be my own work I actually went down some of the lines of the paper as well. You know where it falls around like that. Smudge that in, it makes it look old. It just gives it that old sort of grungy feel. I'm going to, on some tea bag paper, I've got some fairies printed out and I'm going to decoupage a fairy onto the back here. That's for my fairy journal. So that is exactly how I did the front there. So what I want to do for on the front is I wanted to put some butterflies on. So what I did was um, I got my Tim Holtz butterfly. You know the, let me bring it up closer for you to see. The Tim Holtz, um, what's it called? Like um, the clear butterfly. I can't remember the name of it. Anyway, I've got the clear butterfly. I um, put clear gesso onto it. And then I let that dry. And there is my butterfly. So I'm going to show you how I got to this stage. Then I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix them on here. So I literally... Transparency, that's it. Butterfly transparency. I've literally... Um, did it with the gesso you can hear that it feels a little bit rough then i got a selection of distress 
This is where it gets a message, doesn't it? Uh, selection of distress, oxide sprays and just different ones. And I just played and had a bit of fun. So there's one. Um, that's pistachio. This is an ink spray, lemon zest. I like how it sort of left the shape there. I think that that'd be make a good page in a journal as well. So there's a bit of lemon zest. Let's get some up there. I could put a bit more on that one actually. Lemon. Now I did like this is the Lindy's sprays. I'm not sure if it's working. Oh, it is, but it's dropping. There we go. That's not, oh, I like that one. That's the one that seems to go everywhere on the hands. Then I've got some orange shimmer spray from Dilusions. I've got all sorts. I just pulled out some of my stock. Let's spray this one as well. There we go. So that is really, really pretty, don't you think? I mean, that is lovely as it is. But I'm actually going to do a little bit more to it. I'm just going to get my dryer. <coughs> now, I did let my other one um, dry naturally. So let's see if we can manage to dry this without melting the transparency. Now that it's dry, you can see how pretty it is. And there's the back. I mean, that's a lovely side to use, isn't it? So, hmm, which one shall I use? Uh, I think I'll use that side as my, as my front. So, hmm, I've got a lid left. Oh, it belongs to that one. So then I'm going to just cover this up. Because we do not want these on that mess. So we'll create another mess. Let's just move them out of Not got a lot of working space at the moment. Because I'm doing fairy houses, fairy apothecaries, fairy villages, fairy uh, journals. So I'm a bit, all my workstations are full. Right, so there we are. Got the butterflies. So then I got a hole punch. So I've got one here. This one doesn't make round. This one makes little sort of flower shapes. And I just went in and punched some holes. Let's have a look if we can punch some. These will be smaller holes. Oh, it's not gone through. It's not going to roll. It has, but it's taking the laminate. It's taking the paint off. Let's just do that. Uh, some near the edge. And just keep going. I just thought it added a bit more interest to the already beautiful butterfly. Because this is a fairy book. There we go. So then I got my are my Angelina fibres. Here we are. And these are ones that I'd ironed previously. So if you get your Angelina fibres and iron them, you get this lovely um, sort of, it's not fabric, but they're just melted onto each other. And so you get this lovely lovely material to work with and um, i've been making fairy wings so i've got quite a few of these off cuts so then what you do is go on to the back of your uh butterfly 
put on a bit of been using fabric tack never wants to come out does it when you're doing a video it's like sorry not looking now just been using it come on right how tea <coughs> if you don't work i use something else you'll be banned right it's coming now right So I just put some fabric tack on and then put the Angelina fibres sort of over the holes so that on this side they show through. Can you see that? Let's get the scissors cut off like so around the shape of the butterfly. Very lovely. Very, very lovely. And then do the other side. I mean, you could just use some other sort of fabrics, couldn't you? If you had some chiffon or... Um, you could use different materials. Chiffon, organza, lace. There's so many more. Sorry, I was concentrating then. When I really concentrate, I lose my ability to speak. Are you like that? Does that happen to you? There we go. I've got some more under there. Let's cut that off. Yeah, lace, organza, chiffon. Anything, really. Anything you fancy. And you don't even have to. Put that one over there. You don't even, even have to do this. You know, this is purely your decision. I've got a bit of something stuck on it. Right, gone. There we go. I mean, you could even use that side as your front side, couldn't you? You know, with the organza. I don't know what to do. I like that side. I like that side. And I like that side. Oh, I just need one more piece of organza. This is my fairy wing box. Not organza. Um... Here we go. Here it is. All my bits, bits and bobs of that. So let's put some more down here. Ah, that's enough of the glue. I do hate it when it starts this lava stage where it just comes out. Let's put that one over there. And trim off any bits. You might not even want to trim the bits off. Might choose. Oh, I'm really, really stuck now. Because do I have my butterfly this way or do I have my butterfly that way? I'm going to have it this way. I'm going to have it the way I planned. Right, two butterflies. Safety pins. Wire. Pokey tool. And I've got my wire cutters here. Right, so let's do this next stage. I'll just sit down. So next, I'm going to take my butterfly and I'm going to pour, I've gone a little bit too close to the middle there, but I'm going to poke a hole through. There we go. I'm going to get some wire. Now I'm getting, I would say that is about seven inches. Let's cut it off. Oh, actually, first let's just uh, pull it straight. I've got these, I can't stand the feeling of this when you pull it straight. These two, or I don't know what it's called from uh, Hobby Craft. Right, let's cut it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to park this through. She says, there it is. And then I'm going to get my rusted safety pin. You don't, yours don't have to be rusted. I'm going to then wrap this around my pin. OK, 
at that. Fab does that, look. She says, without squashing my pin, I'm going to wrap that round a few times, flatten that down. In fact, that too, this will flatten them down. Sorry about my arm there. So you see it's wrapped around and flattened down. And then I am going to use that as the body of my butterfly. Oh, I love it. So actually, I do need some more glue. Damn, I thought I got away now with this. You could use E6000 glue, which I've got here, but I'm not, because uh, it takes so long to dry. It is fabulous, but. Right, so let's do this. Ooh. I love that pin. I love the pin as the body of my butterfly. Put a bit of glue under there. There we go. Just pop that down. Lid on. Let's just tilt it upside down for use next time. Right, so there's the pin on. Sort of wrapped in that wire. And then, whoop, well, there it is. So then I'm going to take my um, already prepared large, what would you call it? label uh claws label porky tool and just make a little hole whereabouts do i want it so about there i'm just going to do that and then with my round nosed pliers starting about here i'm going to actually starting about here i'm just gonna on the large large scale actually wrap that around like a like a spring actually that done that very well have I? let's start at the end I can always straighten it right I'm gonna wrap that around like a spring there like a coil spring I've probably got too much I'll be cutting it off Cutting it off in the middle. So just keep coiling that around. Are you with me? Coiling, coiling, coiling like a spring right onto the back of that. And then, oh, I love it. I'm going to pull this a bit. I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to pull this bit straight straight as I can and I am going to tuck that in there so because of the spring it springy part now it actually does appear to be lifted off the page let's just tuck that little bit in there make sure you're happy with all your wire work a little bit there, just sticking up. All right, got it. Got it. Come here. Come here. There we go. There we go. Spring there. So at the back here, I'm going to do that. And I am going to get this tape. Is You could use masking tape. But this is some surgical tape or similar to boot binding tape with the cotton i'm going to take that and that cut it off there so there is one of my butterflies you can pull it out if you want to Whoop. like that push it back down how pretty now i'm going to do exactly the same with this one up here so let's get the old pokey. Where have I put the pokey? Here it is. Let's pull it right through actually. So I want it about there. Pull it through. 
then I get my pin about seven inches or so of this depending on how long you want it how big or how small your butterfly is oh because I've never done this before I'm wondering now if I should have sealed those with matte medium so actually when I finish this video I will be sealing these with some matte medium so again put your little piece and wrap your wire around there we go that's gone around the it's gone a bit tight there careful not to shut your pin like uh, open your pin like i did then so there we go so let's put a blob of glue on there glue yes i'd put it upside down wire through there we go put your butterfly the right way up that's so pretty so 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 pretty don't you think i love the pin in the middle and then while i'm holding just holding that together I do love that side too i'm going to start here and I'm going to just wind that around like I did before. Let's just start a bit further down. I'm going to wind that like I did before. I'm going to make some fairy crowns uh, for the fairy festival. These would be lovely to put on, wouldn't they? You know, then I can have them like bobbling around. Whoop! Just keep going around and around and around and around and around. And then find the end. There it is. Pulling out my end bit. Flatten that onto there. And pull. And I'm going to put that through there. So the spring is on this side, so it's lifted slightly and some more tape. So what I'm going to do on here, I'm going to put a strip of paper to, to write on. So it'll just be one quite large writing space. And then on the back, the decoupage in a fairy. Then on the front here are my bobbly, bobbly um, butterflies, which will fit, let's get my page back, which will fit very, very nicely onto there. Oh, I love that. So thank you for watching. It's the first time I've made these. Um, yeah, and I've enjoyed making them lifted that a bit too soon i'll have to restick that so yeah thank you for watching aren't they pretty they're gonna go lovely and they will of course lie flat in your journal or whoever gets the journal can just pull them up uh they bobble around so thank you so much for watching i'm sharon and this is be divine vintage please subscribe to my channel and please give me a comment i'd love to hear what you think have you tried something like this yourself uh, I don't know whether to put anything else on that page, actually. I might just put some words here. Anyway, thank you for watching my mixed media dangly bobbly butterflies. Thank you. Bye-bye.